correspondent from Washington. Good morning, Lana. Good morning to you, Jay and Kelly, and happy Friday despite all the bad news. It is Friday. We have that going for us, yeah. which is nice. Well, and and there is another, I'm, I'm going to give you another piece of good news, too. Uh, China is weighing in. They've been one of the most critical uh, questions, really, for military experts who are gaming out the North Korea situation and where it heads next. And, and what, they say, what they're saying this morning might put a little bit of cold water on this escalating situation with North Korea. In essence, they're saying that whoever launches the first strike, they're going to stand against them. So if North Korea attacks the United States, uh, the soil of the United States, they say, they are on their own. They will not come to North Korea's defense if the United States retaliates. But they also warn the United States that if they launch a preemptive first strike that they that they should know that uh, that they are now fighting against China, which is something that our military leaders certainly don't want to see happen. Uh, but that might stop both sides from actually taking that first step forward to turning this war of words into an actual potentially nuclear conflict. Well, I mean, it actually sounds reasonable. On the BF, yeah, it's yeah, actually it sounds very much like a mom uh, stepping in with two yeah. warring kids, doesn't it? I think, yeah, I <laughs> Whoever think it was, hits first is going to be the one in trouble. Right. I think it was uh, Eugene Robinson uh, <clears throat> in the Washington Post today that's saying someone needs to distract Donald Trump with a shiny object. The war of words has really escalated. And, um, you know, there's a, a, a yet another tweet, I think, just this morning. Just minutes ago. Right. What's going on with that? Well, the president tweeted, quote, military solutions are now fully in place, locked and loaded, should North Korea act unwisely. Hopefully, Kim Jong-un will find another path. So uh, what you can read in that is is that the president is saying certainly that uh, that he is not backing down from a military solution, indicating that the United States uh, military is standing at the ready right now. Um, but his the last part of it, hopefully Kim Jong-un will find another path, certainly does demonstrate that there is an openness to diplomacy, to stopping all of this before it becomes an actual armed conflict. You all in the news world spend a lot of time kind of reading between the lines and putting a lot of this into context. What's going on with the president and these tweets and the, and the escalation, the, the fire, the fury, doubling down? What's behind all that? Well, we, we got an indication from uh, the Secretary of State, Rex Tillerson, uh, that perhaps part of what the president was doing uh, in in saying some very in, in in really painting a very uh bright line test um for uh, for north korean leaders using that fire and fury the likes of which the world has never seen language uh was to communicate to kim jong-un in the type of language that they so often that we so often hear coming from north korea so that there is no confusion that that the united states means business that this president who is a new president um means that that he's willing to take military action should it become necessary the big question now becomes if North Korea does in fact try and go forward with their plans to launch those four missiles to land off the coast of Guam, is that going to be perceived if there are no casualties? If, if those missiles land in the waters just 25, 15 kilometers off the coast of this American island, will that be seen as, as provocative military action that then requires the United States to take military action? And then, and then what happens next? It could be one of these terrible situations that uh, that military experts have been have been warning about. But as of right now, the governor of Guam is telling people it's the weekend. Go out. Enjoy yourselves. Uh, we are taking care of this situation. Uh, but there's also there's also a little bit of of caution in in those words too because they've been handing out uh information about how to how to safeguard your family in the case of uh of a north korean attack how you're supposed to properly tape up your windows and doors uh, so there's a little bit of feel good about life we're going to take care of it but then there's also a little bit of but if we don't here's what you need to do to to try and save your your family regarding kim jong-un because it's really difficult to try to figure out what's going through his mind. Do you think that he, obviously, he wants the United States and our other allies just to acknowledge that he, that North Korea is a true nuclear military power? Mm -hmm. do, you, do you think that's one of the big things about this as well? 
there there certainly has always been throughout the history of North Korea a demand for respect. Um, and that certainly plays a big part in it. The acknowledgement that that they are uh, that they are, in fact, somebody that that the United States should uh, should treat with respect. That's their perspective. Um, and and in the past, our, our leaders have have done the appropriate things to sort of give them the minimal amount of, of respect when some of these conflicts start escalating to to help draw down uh, the ire of North Korea. But um, but fundamentally, we have heard from from the president in this administration uh, that they do not intend to uh, to say anything other than the United States can super- is is superior militarily to North Korea, and that's a fact. And um, and. There, there is hopefully some uh, diplomatic ways to work the situation out that doesn't resolve in an actual conflict. Um, but I think you're absolutely right on on part of that being uh, being posturing just in in terms of trying to get somebody to acknowledge them. Okay, Lana Zach, ABC News correspondent from Washington. Thank you very much for the information uh, update.